after you make $10 million in one year, your dollars after that start to get progressively taxed at a much higher rate. And really what that is, is that it's the tax interpretation of one answer to the question of uh, how much is at how at what level are we really just living in excess and what kind of society do we want to live in that was freshman congresswoman alexandria ocasio cortez explaining her tax proposal with the late show stephen colbert to implement a 70 percent marginal tax on income above 10 million dollars annually this is a tax proposal by the way that 60 percent of the country favors but fox news is sean hannity took to the air to defend these forgotten multimillionaires who otherwise, sadly, would have no seat at the table. And she recently called the American dream, she actually called it immoral, called for oppressive taxes on private businesses and wealthy individuals. Oh, the top 20% of Americans pay almost all of the taxes already. The wealthy pay almost all of the taxes because they have almost all of the money. Just three Americans own more wealth than the bottom 50% of the country. Sorry our nation's impoverished citizens aren't kicking in as much as Gates, Buffett, and Bezos. We'll try to do better. And she actively supports the nationalization of the healthcare industry, the energy industry. This is Hannity defending some beloved tenets of America. Our healthcare system, in which you'll totally be able to pay for your care as long as your GoFundMe goes sufficiently viral. And our energy system, where our reliance on fossil fuels is steadfast despite climate change costing the U.S. billions of dollars and actual human lives. Does anyone like how expensive our healthcare system is? Is anyone against less expensive, less polluting renewable energy? At the very least, Hannity isn't parroting the same tired talking point that any reform of our perfect American system is going to turn us into the socialist boogeyman of the world, Venezuela. Just like Venezuela. <sighs> and recently bashing Americans who are, quote, living in excess. I thought that was the American dream. Yep, the American dream, hoarding tens of millions of dollars of wealth and refusing to pay a fair share, while hundreds of millions of your fellow citizens can't afford health care, education, police and fire protection, meals, can't even afford to spare $400 for a surprise expense. Where's the line between wealth and greed? Because we passed it years ago. So let's empower the government to confiscate it all. You better hide your nice things because here come the excess police. Who is Hannity talking to here? Ocasio-Cortez's proposal of implementing a 70% marginal tax on those who make over $10 million a year will affect about 18,000 Americans per year, according to the most recent data from the IRS. And speaking of which, the congresswoman's new policy advisor changed his Twitter handle to, quote, every billionaire is a policy failure. Wow. He even vowed to convince his boss that a 70% top tax rate is too low, and he would talk her up to 90%. After state taxes, nobody's going to work. Ocasio-Cortez herself responded to this bit, that her policy advisor's Twitter name was changed to every billionaire is a policy failure, saying that she was tempted to frame this and put it on her desk. Why? Because it makes glaringly obvious who Hannity is shilling for. It's not everyday people. It's the billionaire class. And I'm gonna gloss over the part where a primetime host of a so-called news show just called Ocasio-Cortez's policy advisor her policy guy. But again, who is not going to work? The 18,000 Americans who would be impacted? Hannity acts like this is unchartered territory in the United States, but in fact, in the 50s and 60s, the top marginal tax rate never fell below 81%. And those were also the decades of highest prosperity in American history, including today. In the twisted world of what is now the radical socialist democratic party, apparently making money and being successful is evil. No, making money isn't evil. Hoarding millions while your fellow Americans struggle to get by? Yeah, that's pretty evil. Manipulating everyday people into thinking that the government is gonna take all their money when this tax proposal only affects a few thousand people at the top? Yeah, that's pretty evil. Pretending that the United States will somehow devolve into Venezuela if the ultra-rich pay a higher tax rate like they used to? Yes, evil. But Venezuela is a heaven-on-earth opportunity for us.